say about a place where we all used to go. Turn down toes, keep silent, keep your eyelids on the road. They're fours in the hills, and they're getting lost tonight. And the girls in their cars are all getting high. Now you This damn road got so curvy. You said, brother, this road's straight. You're just drunk and it's getting early. Won't you count them up now? Count them up, all the people that I've let down. Won't you round them up now? Round them up, all the liars in this town. I'm coming home and I'm towing the line. I just pray those boys I used to know are all doing fine. And I remember those old trains, they made noises like a steamboat. We would throw our rocks at them like some assholes with some howls. Can't get back those aimless nights we all claim is ours. I guess we'll never die up there with all those North Dallas. Why don't you count them up now? Count them up, all the people that I've let down. Won't you round them up now? Round them up, all the liars in this town. And I'm coming home. And I'm told a lie. I just hope those boys I used to know are all doing fine. Doing fine. Weather, 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 weather delays. Did not get out today. So, I'll try tomorrow. Fingers crossed. kind of shuttling us in so he brought us in more than halfway and dumped us off on this river so we get to fish for a little bit he goes and checks out some waters and uh we go back and get some matt and ken but he said this river's loaded with fish so we'll see There you go. Just a slow release on it. Oh, it's oh wow, what a fish, man. Holy cow. So fun. Joe with another giant. Oh, come off.
beautiful. Now hold on. Sweet. Joe and Mike went out early, did a little fishing, probably a little scouting, and now we're going to go load up. So this is where we've been hanging out. It's awesome. Next stop, caribou camp. You are off. Any last words, Matt? Let's do it. River Valley. There's the mountains we're going to be hunting tomorrow. So they uh, got dropped and started fishing and just absolutely hammered the fish. So trips off to a good start. So we're excited. Got a bunch of days in here and we're going to make it happen. What a great little spot. We've pulled shoot, probably 40 dollies out of here and They've all been 22, 24 plus inches. I just hooked a slab that was probably close to 30 that I could not get to the bank. <laughs> Holy smokes, just crazy. It's beautiful. So cool. another day. Look at the paint. That's just amazing to me. He's back for us. Ken and Matt flew over a little bit ago. And he's buzzing right back to get us, so hurry up and get out of here. Get to caribou camp. What an awesome afternoon. So cool. Man, hope there's fishing at the next spot. What an awesome day so far. Weather's good, a little breezy, no rain.
Mike with his first cast. That's my first grayling. Really? Yep. Nice. Turn this one over. Put that fin up. Oh man, that's a pretty fish. There we go. Dude, that's a, it's a toad. How many fish have we hit? Have you lost count? How many casts have we done? Actually, caught, I think it's. I've probably caught seventy fish today. So you're having a terrible time. Uh, this is uh, this is heaven. Heaven. We're gonna go back have some food because I have not eaten today at all, and maybe do some glassing. It gets dark about ten o'clock. A little bit of light left, so we got camp set up and yeah, need to eat. Mike is convinced that he's gonna pull a fish out of here. First cast. You look like you're having a terrible time, Mike. I'm having a terrible time. This is, this is so hard. All right, morning one. Joe and Matt are up there on that ridge. It's only taken them about an hour. Yeah. We uh, took a little extra time to get the get the tents secured. It's a little windy today, but we're gonna head off in that direction. And uh, find some bulls. Let's do it. Here's what we're looking at. Nice and dry under this tarp. Back to camp. First dolly. I've been hitting the... Mike can't keep the dollies off. I can't catch the dollies. Oh yeah, Ken brought his little booties. It's like little fairies tickling your toes. <laughs> we determined that Mike's um, bear fence does not work. So I touched it and took one for the team. So that's it's the placebo effect. I slept great last night. I didn't slept great tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have touched the fence. First caribou spotted right from camp. He was right up on this edge right here. Just hauling. Watch him for a little bit. He's down in the brushy stuff by the river right now. He's a small bull. I'm trying to decide if we should go try to see if we can get a closer look at him, but he was moving fast. Pretty positive sign to see one run by, so it's blowing, it's raining, but 
looks a little bright from where the clouds are coming from so hopefully it's gonna break here pretty soon so we can see Two big ones. I got the two big ones right now. I think. Dude, they're coming this way. Yeah. Well, there's there's one I'm kind of in the front right now. Oh, I see him. Yep. The two bigger ones are right in front. Yeah, or I what? See him. There, there's one right behind him too. They're going that way now. I don't know. They're kind of coming straight for us. Dropped him. Great shot again. <laughs> I was gonna wait.
Right. Well, we were, they were heading down this way. over a mile. Thanks for the pack out. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Earned your dinner tonight, right? <laughs> long day, long night. Slept in. Like a rock, <laughs> like a rock. What time is it, Mike? 10 o'clock. We got some sunshine going on right now. Please don't let me get wet feet. Taking it easy today. Just fishing. And trying to find those groups of caribou we saw earlier today. Taking a break, now my shoulder's sore. Hitting all those fish. There is one caribou in one of these groups that is definitely one that I would like to shoot. So hopefully they'll come back around. Looks like they've just been kind of going around these mountains. So it might take them a little bit to get back to us, but definitely what three, at least three groups today. Yeah. So we're gonna catch a few more fish, go back, maybe cook up a little caribou. Find a mic. Killing one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
It is the coldest day so far. I have every single layer on and my feet are frozen. Waiting for it to snow. <clears throat> it's like that miserable 34 degree rain drizzle. So, we're in a good spot. I saw a moose down in the river valley, which is good. We haven't seen any bears, so that's good. Kind of one of those days you're just waiting for something to happen. Mike and I've been hanging out under the shelter. It's been a lifesaver just to get out of that wind and weather a little bit because it's miserable outside. But yeah, I've been hunting with Mike a few years now and a good solid hunting partner. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I never realized how modest Mike was until. Uh, I had breakfast today. I had my mountain house, little biscuits and gravy. I didn't realize that I was hunting with the uh, cover model of uh, mountain house, which he hooked me up on some discounts on that that year, but you know, whatever. So, Mike, any thoughts? Dream bull walked in and out of my life. Came out of nowhere. The gray ghost came out of the fog. He was, he had everything. snow but I sure it's cold enough to you it's actually probably warmer right now as the sun goes down than it has been all day today <coughs> last kicker of a day cold wet windy one caribou Staying warm with some hot chocolate, coffee, bone broth. Bear trails everywhere. It's like a choose your own adventure. This bush is safe passage. Behind this bush leads to danger. Which way shall we go? A Mexican standoff here with a musk ox. Saw them running around camp yesterday. They actually can move pretty good. So, give this guy some space. <laughs> move a lot faster than us on yeah. the tussocks for sure. He's coming right to us. We seem to care to do that. Yeah. <sighs> well, the wind and the rain has stopped. And now have come the White Sox. Yeah. I think I'll take the wind and the rain again. <sighs> We're actually going to just push across this valley. 
set up on the other side this time. And uh, try to cut them off. Hopefully they'll push through today. Sunrise on the last day. You want it back? I found it. I knew I didn't forget it. Joe, last day thoughts? <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be here. Sun's coming out. So not much video from the last couple days. Wind's been blowing, rain, stuff froze overnight. Yesterday, we went all the way up there and then realized that we potentially could get moved yesterday. So we bombed back down to camp. That didn't work out. We stayed here last night. So we're trying to decide. Ken and Matt are gonna head back. But Joe and I are trying to decide if we should push on and stay a few more days. We're kind of waiting to hear from the pilot see if other camps have done any better because we basically haven't seen anything for three maybe four days now apparently they haven't been able to fly for the last yesterday was the first day they could fly in three days so we'll see what the pilot says when he gets here we're all loaded up making the breaking down camp and uh, we'll have some decisions to make he shows up. Hit that that tree, thing, that yeah, stone. that little brush pile. He's running a little heavier, I bet. With that meat and stuff in there. Good lord. <laughs> Joe and I have decided that we're gonna go out to that weather behind us. Does not look good. We're fingers crossed that he can even come back and get us tonight. We're hoping. If not, we're stuck for a few days, I think. Yeah. We can't push it back just to hunt maybe one more day and not be able to get out. Because he can't move us today, basically. That's how it's all going down. Because yep. we're socked in here, kind of. He wanted to take us back up that way, and it's just it's snowing up there. So our options were to stay put and get moved tomorrow, which... It's not an option. It's, yeah. Pushing it, pushing it back too far. So we'll just try to get back tonight and uh, get home tomorrow. No, I'm hold this yeah. out. Okay. Lord, let me tell you about a place where we all used to go. Turn down toes, keep silent, keep your eyelids on the road.